Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Rattel. The Rattel is a South African infantry fighting vehicle. It was the first wheeled infantry fighting vehicle to enter service worldwide and was built on a modified man chassis. The Rattel was designed in response to a South African army specification for a light armored vehicle suited to the demands of rapid offenses combining maximum firepower and strategic mobility. The uh, Rat Rattel is more designed to support infantry rather than fight in armored columns or with other armored vehicles. It's a good kind of compromise vehicle and allows it to have a very low uh, unit cost and also a very low upkeep cost as well, which made it perfect in serving in kind of rural um, areas where, you know, logistics and supplies could be a little bit low. Uh, the Rattel itself is also a very uh, universal type vehicle with different variants of it, such as uh, more kind of armor transport type designs of 20 millimeter cannons, uh, mortar uh, basically equipped ones and there's uh, one that you can see in front of you with a 90 millimeter main gun. There's also logistic versions and also uh, command uh, posts and reconnaissance ones as well. But this one, as I mentioned, is going to be the Rattel 90 uh, FSV fire support vehicle. So this uh, version of the Rattel is equipped with a 90 millimeter main gun in a uh, 360 degree turret. Uh, so it makes it a very potent uh, weapon. It definitely has more of a pack-a-punch than the standard Rattel, which is equipped with more of a 20 millimeter uh, type uh, main armament. Uh, but this uh, version is definitely highly equipped and can definitely serve as a pretty good armor fighting vehicle, as well as a really nice infantry support vehicle. Um, this uh, vehicle itself is a Patreon request, so I'm going to give special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And uh, from there, you guys can go ahead and pledge a small amount, help me out as a creator, and also earn some uh, cool benefits for doing so. So feel free to check out my channel. Again, link is down in the description. Um, other than that, let's go and take a look at the Rattel, see exactly where we're we'll going to be going ahead and working with and building in this um, tutorial. So, uh, starting off with, we have the front up here, which is, uh, you know, pretty nice, pretty nice detail, a lot of sloping and stuff like that. Uh, we have the uh, side mirrors, obviously on both sides here, the driver's kind of compartment uh, with the windshield and all that fun stuff. Uh, then we have pretty much the turret here, which is uh, the main kind of defining feature of why this rat hill stands out over the other variants, is it has this huge uh, gun on it. So, 90mm gun. Obviously, uh, you know, not the strongest gun out there, but 90 millimeters can definitely do a lot of damage to lightly armored vehicles and uh, definitely provide this more of a, um, you know, uh, armored fighting vehicle as well as a infantry support one. Um, so uh, we also have, uh, a, you know, 30 cal mounted up on top here, the driver hatches, uh, commander's cupola, all that kind of stuff, or the, uh, it's just say the gunner hatch and also the commander's cupola up on top here, not the driver hatches. Uh, we have the smoke dispensers both sides and a little basket here on the back for various supplies or anything like that that might be thrown on the on the back. Um, we have uh, doors on the side here on both sides. Uh, the little uh, viewports here along the sides here. Again, some more hatches on the back section here. And on the very back, we have a uh, another hatch that can be opened up for um, probably infantry or something to be transported in here. And we also have a little bit of a vent that kind of popped off the back here. For, uh, the engine up on top here just for more details what's supposed to be a spare tire it's not perfect by all means but uh minecraft sadly sadly we can't put sideways stairs so we kind of have to settle with what we got so uh spare tire right up here another hatch on the back here which is equipped with a uh, 30 cal as well so you can have uh quite a good amount of firepower uh for this vehicle so you know we got two 30 cals uh on top here we have a coaxial 30 cal and also a uh you know, 90 millimeter gun. So it's got some pretty good armaments to it. It's a really nice looking vehicle and a nice addition to our South African line. Uh, but other than that, that's going to do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and pop into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys, so moving on to our first layer, we're going to be going ahead and start off with layer one. For layer one, to get started here, we're going to place down another brick stair. That's going to be uh, upside down. So we're going to place down an upside down narrow brick stair like this, followed by a second uh, narrow brick stair upside down coming off of it. Like that, so two back-to-back -back narrow brick stairs, and this is going to be the start here of the left uh, front tire. After that, we're going to take some stone brick slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three. 
of stone brick slabs coming back for this one nether brick stair. Over here on this side, we're to place down another upside down nether brick stair and a nether brick stair coming off of that. So you can see up here we have the front here, the right wheel, the left wheel, and the axle in between. And our vehicle is obviously going to be facing that direction that way. So uh, we have it kind of mimicking that right there. After that's all done, we're going to go back from the center uh, stone brick slab there. We're going to place down a iron trap door that goes back, fall by a stone brick top slab, fall by one and two iron trap doors back. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab, come off this iron trap door right here, fall by a stone brick top slab out to both sides. Uh, off these stone brick top slabs, we're going to place down another narrow brick upside down stair, fall by an upside down stair right behind that narrow brick stair. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. Once that's all done, we then want to go ahead and uh, basically place down a place order block coming off these uh, narrow brick stairs here and we're going to place down two wooden trap doors in the, in the middle section here so kind of in the middle space in between these two uh, basically uh, wheels here so just like that both sides so we have something that looks like this from up above once that's done we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick stair upside down that's coming off this stair right here followed by a stair right behind it like that so just another kind of section here of the wheel and we're going to do the same thing again over here on this side and in between these stairs right here, we're going to place down a row three of stone brick top slabs. Once that's all done there, that's going to do it for layer uh, one. With that, we can move on to layer two. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking some narrow brick stairs. We're going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of all the narrow brick ups and down stairs. Just like this to go ahead and create a total of six wheels. So we're just going to go around to each one of these upset sections here of ups and down narrow brick stairs. And just go ahead and build on those like so. Now once that's all done there, we want to go and then grab ourselves some gray wool. We're going to place down a row of three of gray wool between these narrow brick stairs, followed by a second, or my bad, sorry, we're just going to place down a row of three of between these narrow brick stairs up here in the front. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some uh, gray wool again. We're going to place down a narrow row of three that comes off of it like so. We want to place down an upside down sandstone stair uh, facing this direction like so. Same thing over here. Uh, uh, coming off the uh, sandstone stair, we're going to place down another upside down uh, sandstone stair. So you have something that looks like this on both sides here. Uh, then in between these stairs, we're going to place down one, two, and three upside down stairs. So we have a corner stair here, corner stair there, and then a row three of regular stairs across the middle section here. Uh, on these corner stairs on both sides, we're going to place down an item frame with a glass block in the item frame. We also want to grab ourselves a sign, and we're going to go ahead and place down a sign on the uh, sandstone corner stair like this for the lights there up in the front. Uh, we also want to go to, go to the center uh, sandstone stair here. We're actually going to replace that with a smooth sandstone block, place down a wither skeleton skull coming off of it. Uh, we, then we're then going to go to both sides of the wither skeleton skull, place down dark birchwood fence gates that are op opened up to kind of connect up to the uh, sandstone upstairs. Once that's done, we're going to need to go and grab ourselves some cobblestone walls and also some anvils. We're going to place down an anvil here on the center stone brick top slab, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of gray wool across, followed by a second row of three, a third row of three, and a fourth row like that back. On the sides here, we're going to go and take birch wood stairs. We're going to place down one and two upside down stairs over the wooden trap doors, one and two on both sides. And then coming off of both sides of these two upside down birch stairs, we're going to go and place down a birch corner stair like that on both sides. Once that's all done, we're going to place down an anvil on the center stone brick top slab, cobblestone wall on both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves gray wool, place down a row of three of gray wool across. We're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick top slab again, place down an anvil, cobblestone wall on both sides, and a row of three of gray wool across in between these narrow brick stairs. Once that's done on the back here, we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone, followed by a sandstone upside down stair on both sides, like so. After that's all done, we're going to place down a stone brick, or sorry, a sandstone top slab come off the center. Uh, smooth sandstone block followed by a sign come off the slab. We then want to go ahead and go to both sides here We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood fence gates and place down a birchwood fence gate on both sides Come off those smooth sandstone blocks like that Once that's all done there uh, That's gonna pretty much do it for layer two and with that we can move on to layer three Moving on to layer three for layer three We're gonna go ahead and start off by taking smooth sandstone We're gonna place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle smooth sandstone block and stairs I'll across the front here like that we then want to place down an upside down sandstone stair on both sides like this with a sign coming off the front of the stair. Like that. Once that's all done, we're going to place down a, a sandstone corner stair on both sides like this with a sign on the side here of these corner stairs. 
with that done, we're then going to go ahead and take, uh, we're actually going to switch these stairs out, these corner stairs here, out for birchwood. So my apologies on that. We're going to go ahead and use birchwood stairs and just do the same thing with the signs on both sides. Once that's done, in between the stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone ups and down stairs. With that done, going back here to this section, we're going to take our smooth sandstone, place down a row of five all the way across. We then want to grab ourselves gray wool, place down a row of three of gray wool, followed by a second row of three after that. On the first row on both sides, we're going to place down a sandstone top slab. And then for the second row, we're going to place down a sandstone up down stair on both sides like so. Continuing on, we're going to place down a row of five of smooth sandstone all the way across. This time, we're going to place down a stone button on both ends. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of birchwood ups and down stairs. Like this on both sides. And on the second stair back, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, sign here on both sides. Uh, we can also go ahead and choose to fill in the space in between here with smooth sandstone, though it's not completely necessary. And you could, if you really wanted to, hollow this out a little bit to give yourself a little bit more space for interior. Uh, but for this tutorial, we're just going to fill it all in. Uh, for our next row, we're going to place down a another row of five of smooth sandstone all the way across. Again, a stone button on both sides. When we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and take gray wool. We're going to place down a row of three of gray wool across, followed by a sandstone top slab on both sides. We then want to place down another row of three of gray wool across the middle, sandstone up down stair, both sides like that. Get you now, we're going to place down another row of three of gray wool across, sandstone up down stair on both sides. We're then going to place down a narrow row three gray wool across and again a sandstone top slab on both sides. After that, we're going to place down a row of five of uh, smooth sandstone across. On the back section here, we're going to place down a total of one and two upside down sandstone stairs, one and two birchwood stairs, and a upside down sandstone stair like this across the back here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the corner uh, kind of sandstone stairs here. We're going to place down an item frame on the fronts of the stairs, red stained glass in the item frames. And on the sides of the stairs and also the front of the stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down some signs around them like that to create the brake lights. Uh, once that's all finished there, that's going to do it for layer three. With that, we can move on to layer four. Alrighty guys, so move on to our next layer. We're going to be going ahead and going on to layer four. For layer four, we're going to start off by taking wooden trap doors. We're going to place down a row of five of wooden trap doors across. We then want to place down a birchwood fence post on top of bo both these ups and down stairs on both sides there. And in between the birchwood fence posts, we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone slabs. Uh, after that's done, we're going to place down a light gray uh, stained glass full block uh, going back from the middle um, sandstone slab. Uh, to both sides of this light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down a spruce sandstone block followed by a sandstone stair like that on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a sandstone corner stair coming off this stair on both sides like that. And then we want to go ahead and just place down a row of three of light gray stained glass in between the corner stairs. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some white wool. We're going to place down one and two white wool blocks going back on the sides here, followed by a row of three of smooth sandstone, followed by a second row of three in between the white wool blocks. For this section here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood uh, planks. We're going to place down two birchwood planks going back like this with a row of three of smooth sandstone in between those planks like so. And on the second plank back, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, trip bar hooks and we're going to place down a trip bar hook on both sides. And also, real quick uh, correction: we're actually going to place down a uh, we're going to place down the sign on the first uh, birchwood up down stair. So we're going to go and make that quick adjustment on both sides, like so. After that's done, we're going to take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a row of five across, followed by a second row of five and a third row of five across, like so. We then want to go ahead and again take our birchwood planks, place down one and two back, one and two back on both sides, and two rows of three of smooth sandstone in between them. We're going to place down a trip bar hook on the second. Birchwood plank back, followed by a sign on the first one, and same thing over here. Oops, my bad. So, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down another row of five of smooth sandstone all the way across. And when we get to this section here, we're going to place down one and two smooth sandstone blocks to the left side, followed by one and two birchwood planks, and then a smooth sandstone block over the other side like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a trip bar hook on the rightmost birchwood plank, and a sign to the left of that tripwire hook. We also want to grab ourselves some cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one and two cobblestone walls, come off those smooth sandstone blocks, and that's going to do it for this layer. Uh, so anyways, that's it for layer four. With that, we can move on to layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by going up here to the front. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane on top of this light gray stained glass full block. Behind this pane, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass full block like this. We then want to go ahead and go to both sides of this full block and place down another brick stair like this. 
where they're gonna go and go to the space in between the narrow brick stairs and the light like, gray stained glass paint. And we're gonna place down some uh, skeleton skulls at about a 45 degree angle on both sides like that. Once that's done there, we're gonna place down a smooth sandstone block directly behind this light gray stained glass block, followed by a sandstone corner stair on both sides coming off the narrow brick stair. We're then gonna place down a sandstone corner stair come off that corner stair right there on top of the white wool blocks out there to the sides like that. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a nether stair that goes back like this on both sides of sandstone, followed by a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks in between them. When we get to this section here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood stairs again. We're gonna place down two birchwood upside down stairs. They're gonna be facing each other like this. And we wanna go ahead and place down a row of two signs across them like so. And same thing over here on this side, just like that. And again, for signs on the side here. In the space in between these upside down stairs, we're going to place down two rows of three of smooth sandstone to go and fill that space in. Once that's all done there, we're going to go and uh, take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down two rows of three of smooth sandstone down the middle like this. We then want to take our sandstone stairs, place down one, two, and three upside down stairs. And same thing over here, one, two, and three like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take some birch wood. We're going to place down two birch wood uh, stairs here on both sides. Again, take our uh, smooth sandstone, place down a row of three across, and a second row after it. Uh, once that's uh, done, we're going to go and grab ourselves some sandstone stairs, place down a sandstone stair on both sides here. Again, our smooth sandstone row of three across. On the back section here, we're going to place down a sandstone corner stair, come off the sandstone stair on both sides. We're going to place down a row of two of birch planks on the right side here, and a smooth sandstone block to the left side. Uh, on the back here for detail, we're going to place down a sign on the middle, uh, basically birchwood plank, and then we're going to place down a button here to the right. We then want to grab ourselves a cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this one right here, and also a wither skeleton skull on top of this cobblestone wall, like so for the back there, like that. Once that's all done, uh, we do have a few things we need to do still, so we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the front. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate that kind of comes off this fence post up at an angle and open it up toward the back. And same thing over here, just like this. We're then going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the birchwood fence gate on the insides here. And we also want to go ahead and go into the, our inventory. We're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and also a light gray stained glass pane. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on the uh, birchwood uh fence gate and uh, put an item put a light gray stained glass block in the item frame or light gray stained glass pane so you have the basically side mirrors on both sides once that's done we're gonna go ahead and work on the sides here real quick so for these uh, we want to go ahead and take some item frames and black wool we're gonna place down an item frame on this first upside down stair here we're gonna place down a black wool block in the item frame we're gonna go ahead and go to these three uh, stairs we're gonna place down a row of uh, three there of black wool like that and same thing over here, we're going to go over here and do the same thing, just like that. Um, so once that's all done there, that is going to do it for layer uh, four. And or, yeah, so layer four, and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer five. Alrighty guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block on top of this one right here. We then want to take our sandstone slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, um, sandstone top slabs coming off that smooth sandstone block. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, nether brick slabs. We're going to place down one and two nether brick slabs coming off those five sandstone top slabs. And then we're going to place down signs here on the sides of these uh, two nether brick top slabs on the end here. We want to go ahead and go back here to these slabs here. We're going to place down one and two signs on these first two sandstone top slabs. Only on the right side though. Uh, we're not going to do it on the left side. Um, after this uh, this uh, smooth sandstone block here, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like this on both sides. We then want to take smooth sandstone, place down a smooth sandstone block in the middle, followed by a sandstone corner stair coming off these two stairs like that on both sides. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign, place down a sign on the side of these uh, smooth sand the sandstone uh, corner stairs. Uh, we also want to grab ourselves a birchwood fence gate and also an end rod. We're going to go ahead and go to the side here, we're going to place down a fence gate, come off this a sandstone stair and an end rod coming off the fence gate with a coaxial machine gun. After that step, we're to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides. We're going to go and do the same thing again. Row three of smooth sandstone across the middle, cobblestone wall on both sides. On the back section here, we're to place down a row of three of upside down sandstone stairs. 
We then want to go ahead and continue on by grabbing ourselves redstone repeaters, wooden trap doors, and also some uh, daylight sensors. So for this on the back here, we're going to place down two daylight sensors to the left here, followed by a wooden trap door, which we're going to make sure is closed, and then a redstone repeater like that if it's not just flicked all the way to the side there. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that row one more time. So just like this. Again, make sure to close your wooden trap doors, doors like so. Uh, so once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick full blocks. We're going to place down two nether brick full blocks, one trap door out to the side. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and again place down two nether brick full blocks. This time, however, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall. Uh, when we get back to this section here, we're going to place down a daylight sensor, cobblestone wall, and a birch wood uh, plank like this, followed by another cobblestone wall to the side. Uh, after that's or not a cobblestone wall, my bad, it's actually going to be a birchwood fence post. So birchwood fence post over here to the left side like that. Once that's done on the back here, two daylight sensors and then a uh, cobblestone wall coming off that um, that birchwood uh, plank. And then we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood fence gate, place it down on top of the corner stair, opened up toward the birchwood fence post. And uh, the last thing for us to do for this layer is just grab ourselves a birchwood fence post and place it down on top of this sandstone corner stair. Once that's done right there, that's going to do it for layer five. And with that, we can move on to layer six. All right, guys, moving on to layer six. For layer six, we're going to start off by taking wooden trap doors. We're going to place down one and two wooden trap doors on these narrow brick uh, top slabs. We then want to go back here to these sandstone top slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three wooden trap doors back. You can see they're in line with the sandstone top slab with the sign on it. Uh, we also want to grab ourselves a iron bar. We're going to place down an iron bar on top of this birchwood fence post here. After that's done, we're going to place down a uh, birchwood fence post after this uh, wooden trap door here. Uh, to the uh, left left of it, we're going to place down a sandstone stair like this. And we're going to come back to that in a second. Over here on the other side, however, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and place down a wither skeleton skull at about a 45 degree angle on top of this uh, sandstone corner stair. Once that's done, going back from this the birchwood fence post, we're going to place down a sandstone slab, followed by a birchwood plank to the left side. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab to the right side. We then want to go ahead and take our sandstone slabs. We're going to place down one and two across. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a sandstone stair if it's back facing toward the uh, outside of the vehicle. We then want to grab wooden trap doors and across the three upside down stairs on the back here, we're going to place down three wooden trap doors and we're going to go ahead and take signs and place them on the sides here of the wooden trap doors all the way around like so. And after we have that done, <clears throat> we're going to make, make a few little additions here. So we're going to go and grab a narrow brick slab, place it down on top of these cobblestone walls on both sides here. And we're going to place down wither skeleton skulls on these two sides of the narrow brick plank there for our smoke grenade dispensers. After that's done, we do have a little bit of detail here on top of item frames. So we're going to go and grab some item frames and uh, go ahead and get started for this. So for our item frames, we're going to grab ourselves a light gray stained glass pane and also a glass pane. We're going to place down a item frame on the back of this uh, sandstone stair here with a glass paint in it. We're also going to place down an item frame coming off this uh, birchwood plank as well. And we're going to place down a like a stained glass paint um, af after it. Once that's all done there, uh, we want to go in and then uh, grab ourselves a uh, anvil. We're going to place down an anvil on top of this uh, birchwood fence post here. Uh, we're going to go and place down an air brick up sandstone stair coming off the anvil and we're also going to place down an end rod coming off the uh, nether brick up sound stair. Once that's done, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull to the right coming off the uh, nether brick stair. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a sign and place down a sign coming off the side here of this anvil. Also up the anvil on the back, we're going to grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate and place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the back of the anvil, opened up toward it. And uh, we can also just go ahead and to get it out of the way, place down a redstone repeater uh, with the dots just flicked all the way like that on top of the narrow brick up sound stair. Uh, we can also grab ourselves a stone button and place it down on top of this birchwood plank to finish that off. And once we have that all done, that's going to do it for uh, layer number uh, six. And with that, we'll move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to be seven, eight, nine, and ten. So layers seven through ten, and we'll finish this build off. All right, guys, so moving on to our last final layers here, we have layers seven through ten. To go ahead and get started, we're going to take iron bars. We're going to go ahead and go to this front one up here. We're going to place down three more additional iron bars going up from this uh, birchwood fence post right there. So just three more going up. 
we're then going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to go to this uh, sandstone stair. We're going to place down a birchwood fence post on top of the stair, followed by one, two, and three iron bars going up like that for this uh, second antenna and that's going to do it for our antennas all together. So once that's all uh, finished there we can go ahead and uh, work on our machine gun mounted on top here. So we're going to place down a stone button on top of this birchwood plank. We then want to place down a nether brick upside down stair on top of this birchwood fence post. On the back of the stair we're going to place down an anvil followed by a dark oak fence gate coming off the anvil like so. We also want to go and go to the front of the anvil, place down a, a uh, end rod to come off the front there for the barrel of the machine gun. We're going to go ahead and go to the left side of the nether brick upside down stair, place down a wither skeleton skull, and then we're just going to place down a redstone repeater on top of the nether brick upside down stair, and we're going to go ahead and flick it back all the way like so. And once that's all complete there, that is going to do it for the Rattel um, infantry finding vehicle. Hope you guys did enjoy this design. I think it came out really good, and it's nice to have another South African vehicle to our lineup for modern warfare vehicles uh so pretty cool hopefully you guys do enjoy the build if you guys do not use this design i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this main thing from a sign the build tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites just be sure to get proper credit for the build that's all i ask for doing these tutorials it helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos so as long as you guys give me credit for it you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on and that guys thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been garrett 204 and i'll see you guys next time